1971, I was 10 years into my engineering career. I graduated in 1961 from Manhattan College. I went back and got a master's and a PhD at NYU, but I was working essentially full time. And this guy named David Termolin comes into town. And so he comes to New York to, to, to build a Russian mission to the UN, and he didn't like the team, and he came down to see me and my boss, who was Russian, and spoke Russian. And he says, look, there's no coincidence that we're doing the Russian mission to the UN. This is kind of a, a scheme for us to build a lot of buildings in Moscow for the 1980 Olympics. We form a team. I made about seven trips to Moscow. They paid my tickets first class. Uh, they paid all our bills, and we designed 15 buildings using the system. Unfortunately, when Jimmy, when the Russians invaded Afghanistan and Jimmy Carter pulled the plug on the Olympics, that was the end of my 15 projects. And that was the same year that I bought Thornton Tomasetti. And, which <clears throat> it took me from, from 77 until 2005, basically, to, to get the company up to about 400 people. And, now and when I finally stepped down, in 2005, after a 10-year transition, I flew to Las Vegas with my wife, and we met with David Tomolin. And I said, you know, David, I'm a free agent. I can start this system. Let's form TTG. So we formed TTG. He was a pretty good guy in collecting investors. So we got a couple of investors to put a couple of million dollars in. And then, that was 2006, and then 2008, everything, everything ended. I kept selling the system, I kept perfecting the system, and then along came Intel. And their chairman, a COO at the time, wanted to build buildings faster, safer, and for less money. So the, the bottom line is, we finished the first building in not 39 months, but 16 months. And instead of about 200 million, about 131 million. So they turned around and without even competing, they gave us the second building an identical building. This one was done in 13 months and it's finishing this month. And it was 100 million. So 400 million for conventional and, and about 200 million, that's half. And 20, 29 months versus 80 months. When I arrived in, in Kuala Lumpur on uh, in 91, it took 14 days to do a floor in a concrete building. We did a floor every two days. Yeah. And we slipped, we jump formed the entire core, it just went up continuously. And then we had underslug little bridge cranes, underslung. And we just lifted everything up inside the building. And in a sense, we, we built it from the bottom up. Now with our system, we built it from the top down. We had, on the two buildings, 1.24 million square feet in two 10-story buildings. We had two minor incidents in five million person hours. That's impossible to achieve. But we put the floor together on the ground. We put the exterior wall on, on the ground, okay? We load the floor with all the interiors. And then if there's three cores, we have 12 jacks. And we just lift off and it goes up at the rate of 30 to 40 feet an hour. And when you get up high, the exterior wall mates with the one that was lifted three or four or five days earlier. And there's no scaffold drops. There's no reason why you have to drop people on a scaffold down the outside of the building. You know, a lot of, a lot of old dogs don't want to learn new tricks. And the, the, the United States general contractors don't want to build in half the time. I've talked to all of them. I mean, I've been at this since, since 2005. That sounds like 13 years. And I, I could not get a general contractor in the United States to build it faster and save money. It took India. It took industrial engineers from Intel to see that I was doing lean manufacturing. I was doing lean construction. Uh, I'm a disruptive innovator. I always have been. Uh, Thornton Tomasetti is now 1,400 people in 50 offices worldwide. And we didn't get there by doing what everybody else does.